Hey guys, and welcome to Pixelmon. It's, it's been quite a while since I've done any kind of series that wasn't a live stream or Toram. It's been easily probably around two years or more. And it's, it's finally time for me to try and sit down, make some videos, make a series, have some fun with it, do what I want, and see where it goes. But I put some thought into this. I, I want Torchic. Uh, basically, I want anything from, like, Gen 5 and earlier. I'd be fine with any of these. I'll take, like, Fennekin and Litten, but the rest, and Spurgatito, but the rest I kind of don't really care about in the future. But for now, I want Torchic. I, even in Sapphire, I would always go with Mudkip. Mudkip's my favorite, but I've started with Mudkip in the Pixelmon world so much, and I don't think I've ever started with Torchic, even though I've wanted to. So we're starting with Torchic. Well, welcome to a village. Every single village that you spawn in, in this Pixelmon, has a Golurk. That is just, uh, that's just kind of standard. It's like their Iron Golem. And there's supposed to be a bonus chest right there. Wow. Um, that's a unique one. Three, four experience shares with three Ultra Balls. And then some other random stuff. That is a first, I will be completely honest. I did not know you could even get experience shares in a starting chest. So that's interesting. But it makes this world potentially easier. And usually, I get more than like three Pokeballs. I only got three Ultra Balls, that's pretty sad. But let's explore this village, see what it has to offer. Maybe Journey Map in the top right will fix itself in a second here. And we have the Pokemon Center. Nicely designed. Nurse Joy with two healers. I just talk to her if I want to heal or steal the healers. It's my world. I can do what I want. We have this tiny house with just a bed. I... What was this? The Pokemart? Yeah, we have a Pokemart conveniently right here. Shopkeeper that sells mail. And shopkeeper that sells... Pokeballs, Great Balls, Ultra Balls, and Luxury Balls. And... In this mod for Pixelmon, this is not the Pixelmon I've ever played before. This is 16.5 Minecraft instead of 12.2. Whole bunch of mods in here are not quite the same. And this is not just Minecraft and Pixelmon combined. If you've noticed, those are not Minecraft or Pixelmon trees. Neither are those. And it's basically an advanced mod pack that somebody made that works with Pixelmon. So it's like biomes of plenty, but... The Pixelmon actually spawn properly with the Biomes of Plenty. They in, they combined them basically together to work in this mod pack. And with the shopkeeper here, which I was getting at, different shops sell items for different prices. I've seen another shop that sold Pokeballs for 180 Poke Coins. This one has 216, so I think I get a little bit ripped off, but I'm going to need to buy some Pokeballs and I'm going to have to figure out how to get money because... Something tells me that this... I don't think this is a gym, actually. I messed around with this in a creative world. I don't think this is a gym. I think this is just a daily battlegrounds. Because I beat all three trainers in one, never got a gym badge. And I was able to battle them the next day. But I'm not sure if it was in-game or not. And there's a level 2 Caterpie right here. I'm gonna take advantage of it and one-hit KO it. And just kill my first mob. I'm gonna leave the spider web. Don't need it. I'll take the string... Let's check out what this house building has to offer. Well, leather boots. Okay, well, I don't think I need them, but I'm going to wear them for the hell of it. Is this it for this village? Oh, there's some more stuff down here. And a whole bunch of these villages have random chests perfectly just like this. Where you get, you get free Pokeballs, you get free items, free film... I personally, more, ooh, Ultra Balls, I don't have a need for the film or any of these paralyze, paralyze Heals or anything like that, so I will just be taking them, and I should be able to go ahead and sell these. Is this, oh, it's a cooking pot. Is that how you make curry, I wonder? We gotta learn, learn about that. So, shopkeeper, what do you sell? Oh, uh, see, 
This person sells Pokeballs at 180, but Great Balls are more expensive than the other place. Same with Ultra Balls. But the, interesting. So it's not just the store is the same, like multiplier of a set number. It can be whatever it wants to be. You sell like every Pokeball I need: Dusk Balls and Quick Balls, and that's it. That's all I need, really. Quick Balls are so useful in Pixelmon. And what do you have over here? You also are a shopkeeper. You sell TMs. Not anything of interest, but you also have items for me to uh, steal from. I mean, borrow from you. Not We're not stealing anything. No, we're borrowing with permission. Yes. Oh, great balls, too. I'll take all of this because uh, I have to gain money somehow. And stealing items or taking items, borrowing items, seems like a pretty good way to... Uh, acquire such money and I don't not entirely sure how the crops in this version work because I'm pretty sure this is a crop tree uh, Minecraft blueberry logs uh, log Niniku we'll leave it because I'm pretty sure they grow from like plants like this we'll leave it and see what happens apricorns I kind of know how they work I'm not sure how to plant them exactly but I know what trees they grow into and this is a uh, Pokemon card trainer or card trader yeah you uh, can fill these essence you give them essence jars and they will give you well designs or a booster set hi Flabebe how's it going Toxel Flabebe Sunkern is this everything this village has to offer sadly this is a village on the smaller side I have had I have found some that were significantly larger and better in just about every way. But this will have to do. Also, there is an upstairs here, which I did not realize. So we're gonna see if is there anything up here? Oh. Oh yeah, there is. I'm gonna leave the meat because I can't do anything with it. I'll be honest, I cannot do anything with this meat besides cook it. And I don't need it. Uh, we'll take that. Let's take the full heals. Uh, I could take... Ooh, level ball. Wow. I Level balls are kind of odd to find. But I'm gonna take them. And then... Ooh, more Pokeballs, items. I'll take everything that's Pixmon. We will sell it. Safari ball... Safari balls, excuse me? Uh, can be used to catch Pokemon like any other Pokeball, but... One and a half catch rate in the plains. That's not quite how I remember that being, but I'm, I'll take it. You can get a nice view of the, uh, or lay of the land from here. Just a metapod, and, uh, why is there rock and roll on the surface? It's a little weird. Hopip. Hi, Hopip. I'm gonna try and catch one of you later. I love Hopip. It's not a great Pokemon, but I really do love it. It's one of my favorites. You got looms for decorations. You got vending machines, which I think sell everything at the same rate. That's what it looks like. All right, shopkeepers. I have a long list of items that I need to sell to you. All right, we got 1,100. We got 600. I'm not gonna sell the experience shares. They're too rare to get rid of for now. Uh, ice heals, hyper potions, full heals, super potions, uh, special defense X. Antidote, X speed, sorry. It's X stuff, not X, but okay. Well, we have $14,000 now. So I want to sort my inventory. Actually, buy the Pokeball, like, style and kind of catch rate real quick. Will that also make it easier for selling? It will, okay. Uh, Ultra Balls cost more than Safari and Level Balls and the rest. I have a lot of Repeat Balls. That's kind of... Maybe. I don't know if that'll be useful or not. I'm going to throw away those items because I will not be needing them. Wasn't I in here? The door's closed. I was. I just, I don't remember closing the door. All right, that's fine. Well, focus center. You have a box and a trade machine, which I can't do because it's solo world. And now I'm just going to, well, I was about to say, I'm going to go look for some Pokemon. They're all around, but... The, I was hoping it would journey map would show the images here, but they don't. It only shows them on the mini map in the top uh, right of the screen there. I'm trying to get it 
uh, where I it, it is a square like that. It doesn't work. It doesn't show the uh, doesn't show the Pixelmon on the square. That's a shame. There's a Dratini. Excuse me. Oh my gosh, there is a Dratini. So what balls do I have? All right. Well, sadly, none of these are going to work well against a Dratini, but. We also have a Poke Center right here, so we can try and weaken it. I don't know why I thought Ember was a good choice against a Dratini. Yeah, it just... Okay, well, it just one hit KO'd my Torchic. I'm gonna keep trying to get this Dratini real quick without wasting my Pokeball. See if I can get a good rate at it real quick. Alright, I am giving up on this Dratini. I have thrown two Safari Balls and tried to weaken it, and every time it has just one hit code KO'd my Torchic. And actually, I just had a thought. I can go by Quick Balls. So as long as it doesn't despawn, we should be good to grab it, but you- Oh, you don't sell Quick Balls. I need the other person. Wherever they were, uh, I'm definitely not going to- that it's gonna despawn probably by the time I get back. That'll be a shame. All right, we're just gonna buy five quick balls. Those will be very useful for more rare Pokemon. Try and find them once and catch them. Dratini is still there on the map, so we'll take advantage of that. And I probably still won't catch it, but I'm only gonna try one quick ball and not worry about the rest. I'm not here to waste money. Also, if for, well, so I have this cape because of the mod pack. Not sure what to do with it, and yeah, Dratini popped out, so that's a shame. But I have this cape from the mod pack, uh, and it's just on there, so it's just going to stay like that. Wow, I missed an entire part of this village. So there's two more cellars here, and then three more down there. Let's see what we can find. Some more Ultra Balls, then we got a whole bunch of healing items, film... I kind of just realized I can't sell film. It won't let me. Got some Dusk Balls, more Great Balls. That's empty. Uh, Premier Balls, I love Premier Balls. They just are kind of lackluster. Can't do a lot with them. More film, I might just grab the film and uh, keep it somewhere or leave it somewhere. Also, are you a shopkeeper? I think I kind of ignored that. But you are just an NPC, that's fine. Bienvenue, our Pokemart has fine quality merchandise to offer you. I think you sell the exact same as what the other guy had. That is a shame. Oh, Quick Balls. I didn't even have to buy any. They were just right here. Jeez. I did, uh, did not do a very good job of checking this place out, did I? Alright, you're all searched. There's got some nice... Wait, what? I was about to say you got some nice steps here. I thought they were like from the village for this no they are uh, they're just leaves in the ground basically that's empty uh, that is full holy crap I'm gonna fill my inventory here in a second if I don't uh, don't pay attention yeah I'm not gonna have any space left uh, I actually I am full I'm gonna set aside some of these logs and stuff real quick because I can just get more logs torches I'm gonna hold on to but right now, I'm just robbing the place blind. Uh, you are both just NPCs and have nothing to offer to sell me. That is a shame. Can you sell me anything? You sell me Pokeballs at 180 also. Ultra Balls at 1200. Everything else looks to be the same. Actually, you may have sold a different... No, I think you're the exact same as the other one. That's empty. That's... Oh, wow. Lots of, uh, lots more repeat balls. More repeat balls? I've never found this many repeat balls in all my testing in this world and these mods. Got that. I, wow, everything's in the way of everything. We got revives, even. Got ultra balls. Got that. Dusk balls. Those are always fantastic to have. Especially, I mean, it's, it's nighttime right now. And there's a Murkrow right here. Okay, we're going to see if we can catch this Murkrow real quick. I would definitely... I'd like Murkrow. I would love to have a Murkrow. 27%. According to the percent that... I was about to say, according to the percent that it went down, it should not have knocked it out, but it did. Oh, it dropped the items. That's not normal. Usually it's supposed to delete them. Ooh, a level 2 Skitty. 
Um, can I scratch you? Scratch and not knock you out. Perfect. What are the chances this this skitty that's level two is gonna pop out of a Pokeball? There is no way level two Pokemon is gonna pop out. Also, I'm learning how to navigate the camera. It's it's really weird. It like it goes. It broke out. It goes left and right and then up and down inverted. And so you go in a circle and it, you just kind of get confused because it, it doesn't go the direction it's supposed to. Unless you get used to it and I just am not used to it. I have 31 repeat balls. And I have more great balls and ultra balls than any anything else. So I could use some, yes, but I really don't want to. I like how the ball is over here, but Skitty was over here. Please catch. Thank you. I have now, I have now, I have now, I now have a skitty. English, I guess, is not my strong suit today. Let's sell all this stuff real quick. We have 9,000 to start with. We have 9,000 to start with, and we are now at 28,000 Poké Dollars. That is a really good start, especially for buying, for buying Pokéballs right off the bat. Even though I am pretty loaded up on Pokéballs, more than I ever have been before in the begin beginning of any world. However, Pokeballs don't really help if I can't catch anything, so I'm gonna go take a look around, see what wild Pokemon I can find, and uh, just try and build up a team, because something tells me Skitty isn't going to be a very good Pokemon. However, it does no Sing. That is an advantage. And I can look at the map in the top right and see Pokemon that are around, and, fun fact, shinies even appear as sh their shiny sprite on the map. I know that because in one of my testing worlds, I found a shiny Talo. And I, I didn't believe it on the map. I'm like, oh, maybe it's a bug. Maybe it's just, just like shading errors. Nope. It was that. And every single Pokemon around me is skitty mostly right now. I wonder... There is a catch combo thing. I wonder if it's trying to get me on that with like a repeat ball or something. And it knows fake out. Wow. I really hate that move. But I'm wondering if it's trying to like do a catch combo thing. Because that. I saw that in the config files. Because I had to edit a couple of things. That there are like catch combo things and battle combos and all that. Like in a normal Pokemon game. They included it into this po Pixelmon version. Also, oh, you're just going like crazy. You're just a grunt. Oh. He's just talking about Kyogre, and uh, his boss wants to flood the land with Kyogre, and uh, he can't he can't breathe underwater. That seems like not your boss's problem or my problem either. I'm definitely not going to be low on bamboo anytime soon if I need to use it for anything, because there is quite the, uh, quite the large area here of bamboo just randomly. I guess Cherry Blossom Forests have bamboo spots? No, no, it's a bamboo forest. But it's... I didn't even know it could be this small a biome. That is very interesting. It goes from the Sakura Bloom... Sorry, Cherry Blossom Forest. To the uh, Bamboo Forest. Very quickly, but... I didn't even know biomes could be that small. That is definitely a unique sight. These berries appear to have grown... I guess, okay, so they just kind of work like apricorns. They just grow into a certain tree with leaves. You right click and you uh, collect the berry. So I got some Kelpsy berries and some Ninaku berries. You wanna know what's funny is I re never really use berries at all in Pokemon, so I don't know anything about most of these. I'm not even sure if I can make poffins or what, but there is a uh, kind of cooking pot style thing. We're gonna have to find out what to do with that eventually. I found an apricorn tree. So this is how apricorns are. Okay, you can't right click with the uh, apricorns or berries in your hands. I'm not sure why. Not sure why those went up there either, but the game's a little finicky with that, I guess. It's fine. And now I have to figure out how to get up there. Well, I have this Talu here at 15% and it's only level 5, I might as well catch it. I could definitely make use of a Pokemon that I can fly on. Pretty sure I can fly on Swellow, but, you know, I've, I've never done it. I've never had a Swellow in Pixelmon. 
I think I usually end up finding an, uh, a Swablu or something like that and get an Altaria and fly on that. Which, trust me, if I if I find a Swablu, I will be catching it. I love Swablu and Altaria. They are beautiful Pokemon. And, well, there's... First of all, I'm in a seasonal for forest. Second of all, that's a lot of pumpkins. Like, that's not normal. I might want a Magikarp, but that's... Oh, that's a lot of pumpkins. Yeah, that's not normal. There was a Magikarp in the water that we saw that I, I wanted. I might not use it. I might use it, but... Having a Magikarp on my team might not be such a bad idea. I also just realized I have four experience shares. How about I actually put them on my Pokemon and make use of them so when I battle things like that level 2 Skitty, I can actually get it leveled up so I can make use of it. There's another Hopip just flying around on the wind. Goodbye, Hopip. And... Yeah, these are some really big pumpkins. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. The biome is just Autumnal Valley. And it's just giving me pumpkins. And I... I mean, I can decorate with them, I guess, but... That's... I can't actually do a lot with them. Like, I could make pumpkin pie, but I don't need food, so... They just kinda are decor in this world, which isn't bad. It's just very odd. Even on the map, it looks odd. And I see two Pokemon I want to go after real quick on the map. First of all, there's a Meowth. Uh, I will say in a second, if I can find it here, why I need a Meowth. So, throw a quick ball at it, just to try and guarantee catching it. Since this is a single player world, there will not be many ways to get Poke Dollars. Like, yes, I can go around and try and find villages and battle trainers, but so far I haven't seen any wild trainers, so we're already off to a bad start for battling for money. And Payday is a very legitimate way to get money in Pixelmon. Now, I'm not entirely sure when... I, I was about to say, I'm not entirely sure what level Meowth learns Payday on, but this one already knows Payday. So that is a great start. And, oh, there's a Sobble in the water. Man, having this map, I'm just, honestly, I'm staring at this map more than I'm looking where I'm going. Because I can just use the map to see where I'm going. That Sobble, I need to go after. Also, I don't know, I don't remember when the ocean update was for Minecraft, but I forgot about swimming like this. It's been so long. You are level 10 Sobble. Yeah, you might be a better idea to uh, catch than a Magikarp. It'll just be a little bit more useful, and having having two starters in my party may not be the worst idea. Like, I, I have definitely have had worse ideas. I think I've went with a, a whooper in my party before, and it, it doesn't always work out too well. Alright, do I have any Pokeballs? I accidentally threw a repeat, repeat ball. I did not mean to double click, but it shouldn't catch it, but it could. I was going to see if I had any balls that were specifically going to be helpful for a water type. I don't think I have any net balls or dive balls. No, I don't. Well, I have ultra balls. I might as well use a few because it is a starter, so catch rate is already going to be at a suboptimal number. Yeah. Can I try and not knock it out? Never mind, faint knocked it out. I was like, oh, faint's a weak move, it, maybe it won't knock it out. I I was wrong. I was very wrong. That is a shame, but it's a lake. There are bound, more are bound to spawn eventually. It's not like it's a one in a lifetime Pokemon. If it was a legendary, it'd be a little different, but I guarantee you I'll find more Pokemon over time. And here's a, oh, level one trainer. Well, before you do anything, I'm gonna go sleep real quick, heal my Pokemon. Use Torchic, and we can uh, we can battle him if he didn't despawn. He did not. You also have a Giovanni skin. No, you're just Team Rocket. All right. Your name is just N. I will separate Pokemon. Oh. Separate Pokemon, and then 
only then will Pokemon become perfect beings by separating humans and Pokemon. So you're N, but you're a Team Rocket skin. Weird, but okay. Toxapex, oh. I kind of forgot it was a water type. I'll be honest, never used it. So, well, Ember, either way, two hits, knocked it out. Magikarp leveled up. Why did Magikarp level up? Did I give it an experience? Sure, I did. Kind of forgot. Golsapod, we'll use Flame Charge on you. And critical hit it. You have a Golsapod level one. I don't know. I may not know Pokemon very well, but I'm pretty sure that's not how that works. You also have a level one Scizor. Okay, man, this is, a, this is a very special trainer. Well, at least you have a pincer that's level two. Oh, we got level two. This, the average was level one for that trainer. I got a hundred Poke Dollars. Wow. I got, I've gotten less Poke Dollars from other things. Ooh, there's a Voltorb. I wonder if Voltorb still drop the same items that they did in the other version. Because if they do, this will be a very interesting thing. I'm also using Payday, so we start getting paid money so I can buy a whole bunch of stuff. Might as well make use of it already. I found 210 polka dollars. Beautiful. Exactly what I wanted. Voltorbs usually drop Pokeball tops, iron bases, buttons, or straight up Pokeballs. So I got a free Pokeball and a free half a Pokeball. I'm never going to complain about that. Meowth, you... I'm just going to use Payday on you. Might as well. Oh, it used Payday back. That's interesting. <laughs> it's like, I used Payday. It used Payday. Does that mean I get... No. I, I got gold nuggets. Oh, well, all these are other mods, but... Can't do anything in Minecraft besides make it golden or ingot. And that's not really something I need to worry about right now. Anything else of interest on the map? Besides this giant mountain over here? And yes, I am- ow. I am quite far away from the village. I was going to make a house around that village, but for now I'm just exploring the world, finding what's here. I would like to go and catch Pachirisu, potentially, and use that for a while, until I find something better. So I've learned something very interesting about Pachirisus. There's a lot of them on the map, and not a single one is on the ground, as far as I have found. They only spawn, in at least in this area, in the trees. There's not a single one on the floor here. There are a whole bunch all up there. See, there's one there. I can't even throw a, po a Pokeball at it. That's uh, how bad it- oh, I, caught, I grabbed it. But, that's a- uh, it's a little annoying. I'm gonna throw a quick ball just because I want it, and it's level 12. Shouldn't be that hard to catch it. Is a Pachirisu. I don't know what's happening with my neck, but I'm just like bent down. Or no, I'm looking straight up. Never mind. Alright, Skitty, Talo, Magikarp, all leveled up. Beautiful. We have a full team of Pokemon, surprisingly. And I think that's that's a first. It's only been, I don't know, 40 minutes or so. We have a full team of Pokemon. And now I think it's probably for the best that I return to the village. If I can remember what way it is. We've made it back to the village and so far not really any Pokemon have spawned here. The Pokemon spawning is, to be honest, kind of disappointing. Whenever you're traveling, I kind of expect Pokemon to be spawning ahead of the direction that you're heading. So you see them as you keep going, which at, at least at one point was a setting that Pixelmon had whenever I used to play it in a different version, but if it's it's clearly not turned on here because the entire run here from where I was, that lake, uh, that freshwater lake right here, there were basically, I didn't see any Pokemon at all. Everything was just spawning behind me. Uh, excuse my reaction, there is a Chikorita on the map. And it's just doing a spin. Beautiful. Alright, well, I got to, uh, I gotta have a little bit of fun with this Chikorita, see if I can catch it. Chikorita is my favorite Gen 2 starter, even though it's most undoubtedly the worst one of Gen 2. It is still my favorite, and if I play any Gen 2 game, 
Chikorita will be my choice. However, I also I do like all Gen 2 starters. But Chikorita is my top choice. I'm just gonna start by throwing a single Pokeball. And then if this doesn't work after a couple tries, I'm gonna switch to Skitty. Uh yeah, switch to Skitty. Skitty has Sing. And then go from there. I don't wanna waste. And I'll throw Premier Balls, but say I don't want to waste my repeat balls, but I have so many that I'd rather use some of those than all my Pokeballs. But Pokeballs are also cheap to acquire and buy and everything. And it healed itself. Did not realize it would do that. I was just, yeah, I'll just send out Taylor and use, use Wing Attack. Did pretty good. Alright. A Skitty. Let's see if it doesn't use Synthesis again. We can use Sing with 55% accuracy rate. Which usually... Oh, nope, that worked in my favor. Perfect. So now I'm just going to go ahead and throw an Ultra Ball. Hopefully catch this thing. Usually putting a Pokemon to sleep gives it a pretty good boost in catch rate. And Ultra Ball, it's already times two. Oh, I captured Chikorita. Perfect. Now go, cat. Go. Wonderful. Taylor leveled up. That's the Go Cat Go is just an achievement from catching it inside of an Ultra Ball. I don't know why the, the achievements are named really weird, but it's fine. Well, I guess I could, I'll just switch it with Magikarp for now. However, I would like, can I have the item back? Is that an option? No. Can I leave the box? The only option is to press escape. There is a... Uh, you can't escape it by hitting E, that is annoying. Alright, Shikorita, how's it going? What moves do you know? You got Razor Leaf, Poison Powder, Synthesis, and Tackle. Not a bad combination. I will not be using Synthesis. I wish it was Sleep Powder or Stun Powder, or... I think it's Stun Powder. And then it's just Shikorita stats. Could be worse. IV-wise, it's a single-player world. I don't care about IVs. I'm not going to... IVs matter mostly in competitive situations. Nothing in this world is going to be competitive. Well, I think that's going to be enough for this episode. It's been a decent recording session. I have spent more time talking than expected because I'm used to streaming. And so I'm just constantly throwing out commentary. So I don't know if that's a better thing for editing or not because now I'm going to have to go and I could either just skip in between a whole bunch of cuts of silence, cut all those out and then go back, or I could just not go back because I'm just talking and who knows. Maybe the uh, longer the video, the better the results. I have no idea. But if you enjoyed, if you haven't subscribed already, consider it. Maybe leave a like. Definitely leave a comment. I would rather you leave a comment then subscribe or like because having a comment is something that is there it's unique and it stands out subscription i have 4000 subscribers i at the time of recording this i do basically i have like four i have like a community of actually about four people all the subscribers are from an old video that went popular so Leave a comment, that way I see your username, I see your unique message, I can respond to your unique message, and that message will be forever there unless you delete it or I delete it. It will be a permanent mark of you being here saying your piece and me responding. So, if you made it this far, leave a comment, and uh, I will leave on that. I was hoping it would continue dancing, but I will leave on this epic spinner rack shaking its butt. Have a good day.